guys, Jason Shepard here at M08.com, alongside my good friend, fellow flight instructor here at M08.com, Tom Frick. And Tom is going to be demonstrating today Lazy 8, a commercial pilot maneuver. We're going to be doing it here in the Twin. Now, we always say with Lazy 8, Tom, and you're going to talk us through it, we know that setting it up right and getting those points selected out is so perfect. Now, we're close to the coast here, so it's tough to get some great points. So I'm okay using the heading indicator kind of pick out some points there if that helps. We do want to try to have some visual points, use the head indicator as a backup. And the thing with the Lazy 8 is something's always changed. If you find yourself stagnant, we're doing something wrong, right? Absolutely. So we're going to work through it that way. Let's uh, document everything. We're 135 uh, indicated. West is the heading, 5,500 feet. Tom, talk us through, uh, put on that flight instructor cap and talk me through some Lazy 8s as if you're Teach them to myself, teach them to the M0A.com fan base as well. Sure. So uh, we're heading, heads all the heading and altitude once you've got your clearing turns, which we've already performed. What I'm going to do is what I'm considering here is I'm considering where I'm going to be at 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees, and then back to 180 again. Yes. And as you said, everything's always changing. So we're going to go to uh, a pitch and a bank, and then we're going to hold our pitch, and we're going to keep our bank going, and then we're going to start letting go of the pitch, and then we're going to start letting go of the bank, and then yes. right, all the way back down to the other side again. Again, something's constantly changing. So we'll go ahead and go through the maneuver. All right, talk my way through it here. So we're going to go ahead and start a bank and pitch at the same time. We're pitching up, and there we go. So we start the turn. We're climbing. Airspeed's dropping. A 45-degree point. I'm going to stop the bank and just kind of hold it there. I'm going to keep the pitch coming up. I'm still pulling back on the stick. There we go. We're getting to about a 90-degree okay, point. FAA, As we get up to the top, we're at the slowest point of the maneuver. And the nose is going to kind of swoosh over. Now we're going to start pulling back up on the pitch and undoing the bank just a little bit as we head back down. There we are at about the 135 degree point. We're still moving. Nice. Now we're going to undo the yoke and start pulling back on the stick. And down we come. And here we go to our 180 degree point. Back down to our altitude, 135 knots. Right our airspeed, right our altitude, and right into one now to the yep. left, please. And then same thing. We're going to go pitch up. We're going to bank. We're pitching bank. Here we're coming to our 45 degree point. I'm going to stop the roll. I'm going to hold on to the pitch. Still coming back. Getting up. Airspeed's getting slower. Swishing over the top. And there it is. A nice little turn. And as we're heading back downhill again. There you go. I'm going to start undoing the bank and start undoing the pitch. And as we come around, here we are at the 135. Here comes the roll out. And we're still turning. Nice and gently with the rollout. You don't want to let it, you don't want to force it out of it. And, and we got a little bit of wind coming yes, too. I was just so that's, say that. And that's what's, you know, we got to recognize where the wind's coming. It's coming from the north today. Yes. And here we are back at our altitude, 5,500 feet, straight and level. You know, he did pick up a little speed on that last one coming down, but, and, you know, but, but, but the maneuver ended up right where we wanted. We're on our heading, we're on our altitude, and, you know, Within standards, everything else is okay with that. Absolutely, and, and as I leveled out, it slowed right back down again. Everything is always changing in a lazy. Great maneuver to practice, even as a private pilot. I know it's listed as a commercial pilot maneuver. It's a great maneuver even for private pilots to get out there and practice. So, Lazy 8s, get out there and give it a try. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Share it on Facebook with your friends and just so your family. Uh, Tom, thanks for doing this well. Tom, what is the most important thing they should always keep doing? That a good pilot's always learning. So smart, man. See you guys. Yeah, see ya. Pass your check ride or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.